Hey guys, and welcome back to a really quick Lost Bits video here on Tetra Bit Gaming, the series where we explore the unused, altered, and unseen content in gaming. So, several years ago now, in the far-off time of 2018, I made some of my Lost Bits videos covering the five chapters of Bendy and the Ink Machine. And in those videos, I of course did some snooping around outside of the game's normal boundaries. Now, if you haven't watched those videos or are unfamiliar with the game, basically the developers hid several creepy cutouts of Bendy in areas that players couldn't normally access, and these were a neat little secret that players who like to wander around where they shouldn't could find. And of course, these fellas held a sign saying the now well-known phrase, Wandering is a terrible sin. Anyways, in those videos I had given these little secrets the simple little name that many have seemingly liked and attached to, Sinny. Now I've made a video already covering the several locations where the new version of this Out of Bounds secret can be found in the more recently released Bendy and the Dark Revival. But just this week as I make this video, a new archive stage has been added to the game as part of the version 1.0.3 update. Much like the archives level that was seen in Bendy and the Ink Machine, here we get to walk around the museum-like area and check out models of various characters seen in the game, as well as read up a bit about them. I really love when games do this, and I wish stuff like this would be made more often. Anyways, the main point of this video is that if you go out of bounds just beyond the area where the Cycle Breakers are found, we can find yet another Sinny just chilling off in the void, and... Yeah, the developers have actually officially named the character Sinny here. Now, at first, I was skeptical whether the devs have really seen my videos, as I've seen the name Sinny used far and wide, or if this was just a coincidence, but I actually did get a reply from the big boss himself confirming it. It's honestly mind-blowing to me that a little joke name I made a long time ago had enough impact to actually be officially put in the game. Would that make me canon in the Bendy universe? Also, while I have you here, I might as well go over one of the only major bits of unused content that's been documented left over in the game, and it's a hidden poem made by Mike Mood, the controversial developer who worked on this series. Now this poem, when decoded, translates to the following. Warning though, put on your hazmat suits as it's pretty cringy. Many have hate for reasons untrue, with no perfect answer ever to break through. The biases held will never be changed, thus the answers to seek are never to be explained. Through pain and hatred, my armor was pierced through, yet the battle was still fought, everything put into it, even for you. Silence was desired, but from the shadows what was seen were fans wanting more, but just not from me. The cost was high for blood, sweat, and tears, but the battle waged on until we finally made it here. The power I'm portrayed to have, the decisions said to be solely mine. It is all fiction, for I am the fall guy, the scapegoat, the sitting duck hated by hearsay. None of it is true, but why believe the one you love to hate? Think of me what you will, no matter how misguided by fluff, but I made it to the end and got it done good enough. Coding and making this entire game regardless of my fears, you will never hear from me again, but I'm still here. Yeah. I should also mention that as part of this update, a mic was added to the game's credits, and if you put two and two together, yeah, you can probably guess who this was. Anyways, that'll be it for this quick Lost Bits video, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did and haven't yet, definitely consider checking out my other Bendy series videos, and be sure to subscribe to find your way back here in the future. And as always, thank you all so much for stopping by today, and I will see you in a bit.